Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Hmm, red. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, Bataya and kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly, tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good, they're red. And the banana? Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Haha, <laughs> blue. What a team! There's only one left, the Pattaya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green, like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries. And pink, like the flamingo or the pataya. <laughs> and like pops. Yay! Learning is so fun.
Those fresh fruit ice creams look really good. Delicious. Mmm, Phoebe's ice cream has two strawberry balls and groovies. One, two, three, four, five balls of different fruit. So greedy. Be careful, Groovy. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Groovy, it's not the wave's fault. Groovy, that's Phoebe's ice cream. She has to decide if she wants to share it with you or not. Very good, Phoebe. You should always share with your friends. Now you can both enjoy your fresh and healthy ice cream. Mmm. No. And now, keep enjoying the beach with friends. What a beautiful day to dive and see coral and colorful fish. Beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. Groovy, little by little, if you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, what is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. Animals can't live like this. What was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it. It's a mermaid. Let's follow her, kids. She's gone in there. Where is she gone? There she is. Poor thing. She's crying. Children, let's try to cheer her up. Mermaid is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? Children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine. Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. 
All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. Children, Rifflin's in control. Ah, oh, thank God, the spacecraft works like a submarine. The sea floor is beautiful. Children, what was that? What is it? What is it? A mermaid! Come on, guys. We have to go and meet her. We can't go in. Phoebe wants to take a picture with the mermaids. Groovy, will you help us? Come on, Phoebe, get in. They want to meet you! Ready? Three, two, one, fishes! Wow! What a beautiful day to paint a picture! And what are you going to paint? Um, a ball, a bucket, and a shovel, a fire truck toy, and a dinosaur. And do you know what kind of dinosaur it is, children? But you do know what a dinosaur is, don't you? No? Pops, shall we explain it to them? Dinosaurs lived on the Earth long time ago, before humans and Martians about 250 million years ago. There were different types, such as the Diplodocus, with a very long neck, the Velociraptor, which ran super fast, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the most feared of all, or the Triceratops, with three striking horns. That one then, what kind is it, children? Indeed, a Triceratops. Pops, please don't tell me you're taking them to the Jurassic to paint real dinosaurs. Am I the only one who thinks this is a bad idea? I see. All right to the Jurassic period then. Wow, how nice the Jurassic period is in this time of the year. A real Triceratops? You already have a new friend and a model for your paintings. You can paint him. Oh, it must be the mother. 
we'd better be polite and ask her if she'd like to pose for us. Mrs. Triceratops, we're painting. Would you be kind enough to pose for us? Thank you very much. You'll be portrayed very well by our little artists. Earthquake! Typical living in the Jurassic period. Children, be careful. Poor thing. We have to take him back to his mother. But how? Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the baby dino? Into a racket? An inflatable ball? Or a helicopter? Yes, into a helicopter. Fantastic! We have to hurry. Another earthquake could come. Well done. Groovy to the rescue. Very good. You saved the baby dinosaur. Time to go home. What an adventure, kids. Did you get a chance to paint something? Wonderful. You're great painters. Besides, you've helped someone who needed it. I'm proud of you. Groovy, you're a painting. What a beautiful day to play with all these toys. Groovy, watch out! <laughs> what a crash! Oh, what's wrong with Phoebe? Could you tell me? How does Phoebe feel? Joyful? Fearful? Angry? Or sad? That's it. Phoebe is sad. Nice try. Oh, Phoebe must be very sad not to laugh with you. Groovy, it's okay if Phoebe's sad. Emotions aren't bad. They help us to know what we are feeling. We need to find out why Phoebe's sad. What's the matter, Phoebe? Why are you sad? Oh no, Snuggles is gone. Now we understand why Phoebe feels so sad. Snuggles is her pet, and she loves him very much. Wait a minute, but Snuggles always leaves for a while. But you're worried because he hasn't come back yet. How long has he been gone? Don't worry, Phoebe. We're going to help you find him. Phoebe, have you looked around already? And the rest of the garden? 
Yes, the garden is very big and Snuggles is very small. We need help to find him quickly. Groovy, can you help us? <laughs> Children, what should Groovy transform into to find Snuggles? A toy truck? A helicopter? Or a slipper? Exactly! Into a helicopter! Great! are. He's stuck in the fence. Oh, so much love. How beautiful. I love stories with a happy ending. Phoebe has gone from being sad to joyful thanks to our friendship. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> Snuggles is having a great time. <laughs> and Groovy too! What a beautiful day to learn at school. And what are you learning today? Ah, the basic emotions. Pops, shall we go over them again? Joyful, when a big smile is drawn on our faces. <laughs> Sad, if we can't help crying. Fearful, when we open our eyes and mouth wide. Scared. <laughs> Angry, if we frown and pout. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Children, did you learn them? Very, very well. Great, then. The task for tomorrow is to bring a picture of every emotion learned today. Joyful, sad, fearful, and angry. The garden is a good place to take pictures, don't you think, kids? Great choice, Phoebe. The photo will have a beautiful background. Hey, Groovy. You are finally going to fulfill your dream of being a model. Pose for us. <laughs> All right, now pretend you're super happy. Hey, you don't look really happy. Let's try better with sadness. Come on, Groovy. Hmm, it's going to be more difficult than I thought. Pop 
Pops has an idea to make the photos work. <laughs> Provoke Groovy's emotions, but shh, it's better that Groovy doesn't know. What a scary pose, Groovy. Perfect picture. You already have one emotion, fear. Let's continue with the next one. Hmm. That broccoli looks great. How happy Groovy is. Oh no, it wasn't for you, Groovy. You're so sad. Great! Two emotions and one to go. Joy and sadness. We only have one left to complete the album. Oh no, the camera is broken! There is the missing emotion, anger. What a pity that we can't take a picture of Phoebe, but what about a drawing? Yes, you can draw anger in the album directly. What's the matter? Don't you have something to draw with? I see. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to draw on the album? A pearl necklace? A marker? Or a rugby ball? Yes, into a marker. Great. It's fantastic, Phoebe. The album is full. Homework done. You can play now. Oh, an A+. Plus. That's really something to be cheerful about, kids. Let's see those smiles. Cheer up, Groovy. You'll end up doing it well. <laughs> 